We are in pre-calculus. Today's date is Thursday, September 3rd. My writing tablet is not working. It's just too old. It's seven years old and I've been using it almost nonstop while school's in session. So today's date is 9-3-20. Our objective today, who wants to read it? No one? Okay, let me do this. I'm gonna do a new share. I'm gonna share my desktop. Caroline, yeah, go for it, Caroline. Multiply and simplify complex numbers. Perfect, thank you. And I'm gonna, I just tried this out yesterday too. And if I do the picker wheel, I have you guys all set up for pre-calculus. Whenever someone participates, I'll go ahead and take you off of the picker wheel. If it loads, there goes. It's Caroline. Okay. okay, review. What is I? What is the definition of I? Quite raised hand. What is I? Ellery. The square root of negative one. It is. And please, writing tablet. Please work. Nope, it's not gonna it's not gonna be my friend today. All right, Sindel, I'm here, sorry. You're good. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to draw with my my trackpad. Square root of negative one. Perfect. Can you invite me to your thing? Uh, Jane, please leave your camera on. Um, what about I squared? What's your I squared? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and spin for it. I squared is. Cheyenne. Cheyenne here. Oh, well, that is not gonna work. Maybe I should take attendance here really quickly too. What's going on? Let me pause the recording. Jaden, what is I squared? You have to unmute yourself. Jaden, are you there? Okay, that. Um, we're gonna try someone else then. Try to re-click Jaden. So, I squared. Aurelio, are you there? I'm not sure what I squared is. Okay, let me help you walk through this. So if I square both sides of I, it turns an I squared on the left. If I square the square root, what's gonna happen on the right hand side? I don't know. Okay. The square root and square are gonna cancel each other out and you're left with what? I. I. Not I, but the stuff unit. keeps leaving. I squared. I squared is equal to get rid of the square root on the right hand side and you're left with? I don't know. Negative one, all right. All right, so thank you. Let's move on to how to do polynomial multiplication here. If I have negative three and I multiply that through, can someone help me distribute? It has to be someone new, I have to get through everyone. Negative three times the quantity of five minus six x. No one, no one there. This again. <laughs> Do I get through everyone? Dying. Jaden. Jaden, distribute negative three for us, please. Where are we at, man? Distribute negative three into five minus six X. When did we do that? We did this in algebra one and in algebra two and probably in geometry. I'd like to give my answer to Oscar. Take, take it away. Jaden, come on. 
Negative three times five. You got this. It's 15. Negative 15, yep. Whatever, negative 15. And then negative three times negative six X. Uh, 21. How are you getting 21? I don't know. Are we adding? Are we subtracting or adding? Negative three times. Oh, times. Six X. Three times six, Jaden. Come on, you got this. Uh, eighteen. Eighteen, and then we'll have an X there. So it's gonna be Bro, invite me, plus baby. eighteen X. Thank you, Jaden. You're now removed from the wheel. All right. Cool. Someone now try the for complex numbers over here. And Jaden, can you please turn your camera back on? Dude, my camera's been on this whole time. It's dark. I'm not like, there's my screen. Who's having Jaden's? Oh, no, Mr. I'm Jaden. The other one is just so I can see on my screen. <laughs> All right, that works. Who wants to do this one? Negative three times 20 of five minus six I. Is it the same thing? <laughs> Drew, did you want to do it? I'm asking if it's the same thing. Hey, you want to go? You want to go? It's not the same thing. It's uh, 6i instead of 6x. It's basically the same. Would it be negative 15 plus 18i? There it is. <laughs> that one right down. Negative 15 <laughs> plus 18i. Negative 15 plus 18i. You're removed from the wheel. All right, very similar. 6x <laughs> times 2x minus 7. <laughs> Who's got it? No. Would it be 12x? 12x squared? Squared. I don't know if I have the ability to, yeah, I'll just write power of 2. 12x squared. And? Yeah, you said it. I read your lips, but I think you're muted. Minus 42. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Times negative 42. Oscar Judea. <laughs> it's going to be twelve I squared and Minus 42, yeah. Yep, minus 42, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the minus 42 and then I'll come back and write in the squared. Since my track pad is the only way I have to write. Okay, and then someone else, 12 I squared, simplify this. Anyone that's Oh, we messed up, didn't we? We forgot the i. And we forgot the x. Yeah, when 6x is distributed into negative 7, we should have an x also. So we missed that. Ellery, what does 12i squared simplify into? Negative 12. Yep, all right. So everyone write it down. This now turns into negative 12 minus 42i. Your final answer will never have an i squared. i squared always turns into a negative one. That's via our definition that Aurelio did up here for us. All right, let's try the harder version of this, which you will be doing today. Um, let's see the similarity between our polynomial multiplication and then our complex number multiplication. So with um, polynomial multiplication, typically we have a box, and this is where I really, really like my 
writing tablet to come back to life, but it seems like I'm going to use my trackpad. All right, so you have a box here, and then you have lines coming out of the box. We're going to put 2x minus 3 either on the left or the top. It doesn't matter, so I'm going to put 2x up here on the top. I'm going to put minus 3, and I'm going to do 5 minus 4x. Pet for the win. All right. Let's multiply each of these cells out um, between Beverly, Leo, and Sam. We want to do these boxes here. Just doing multiplication. Sam, you're up first. Are you there, Sam? Yeah. Oh. So for the first part, this can be 10 It is indeed 10x. Thank you. I'm hide you there. OK, between Leo and Beverly, do one of these other boxes. Mr. Sindel, can you hear me? I can, yeah. We got it. Thank you. And then the other one's going to be 15, negative 15. Oh. Uh, you don't have to do them if you don't want to, because we're, we're having trouble hearing you due to your internet connection. And Beverly's not even in here, so it's going to go to Leo. Leo's not in here. Darn, he's not in here. Okay, so Leo, top right. Negative 15. Negative 15. All right, now we're done with the wheel. Let's just go through this a little bit faster now. Bottom left, people that have participated before, you can still do it. Negative. Yeah, Caroline, go for it, Caroline. Uh, negative eight. 8x squared. Negative 8x squared, perfect. What about bottom right? Anyone at all? Bottom right, negative 3 times negative 4x. Yeah, Ellery. You will have 12x. 12x, perfect. And then whenever we have our general rectangle, this tool here, we write out our final answer by combining the like terms. Um, notice that the like terms in this case are the diagonals going top left, bottom right. They both have an x to the power of one. Again, to be a like term, it's the same, um, same variable and the same power. So let's write it all out. The answer here is negative eight x squared. And then 10 x plus 12 x is 22 x so plus 22 x. This trackpad writing is killing my soul. 22x and minus 15. All right. So for our example on the right, it's going to be the same exact thing. So you can rewrite the box if you want. But we can kind of skip to the same answer. Um, Whenever we have, the only difference is we're gonna have a negative eight i squared, and we're not allowed to have an i squared in our answer. So we can actually kind of skip a step, especially since we're going a little bit slowly through the notes. So we'll skip a step up here and say that we start here with, and I'm thinking I can probably type out my answer here a little bit faster, and I'll just write the squared in later. We really have negative eight i squared, I'll do the squared in a sec, plus 22 i, minus 15. I'll we'll come back and write in the squared here. All right, I need another quiet raised hand. Tell me, how am I supposed to reduce this thing? If I am not allowed to have an I squared ever, what do I do? Ellery. You're going to, so you know that I squared is negative one, so the negatives cancel out, so you're gonna have 
8 plus 22i minus 15. So then because 8 and negative 15 are like terms, you combine those and end up with negative 7. Yeah, so there's a lot of work there that I need to catch up on. So I'll write out negative 8 is now going to be multiplied by, instead of i squared, we said negative 1. I still have all this other plus 22i, 22i minus 15. And then after that, you said we're supposed to turn this into positive 8. So 8 plus 22i minus 15. And then you also added the 8 and the negative 15. You got negative 7. So you said the final answer is 22i minus 7. Well, did I get all correct, Ellery? Yeah, that's what I did. Cool. Thank you. So I know that I didn't write out the general rectangle that we had over here in the blue, but you still have to do the general rectangle, except there's additional steps now to get rid of the I squared. Okay. Uh, give me a fist of five, how well you're following up to now. Fist of five, I'm seeing a four, a five, a four, a four, a two from Jaden, Jaden, do you have a, okay. a I'm still a lost. I'll figure it out. Okay. Four. Thank you. Okay. I mean, I'm not lost. It's not hard. I'm just, it smells like rice. It smells good. Okay. Let's go on to a few examples. So we've already written down this example and then we only have one example on the back. It's going to be example three. I don't know if I can scroll down enough. These are the only three examples that we're going through today. Uh, once you're done with these examples, um, if you're finishing the notes early, just go on to Khan Academy, but leave your cameras on until I dismiss everyone to do homework. All right, so I don't really want this tablet to work because I don't want to write everything out. Okay, so um, who can do the distribution for us? You don't have to do all the steps if you don't want, but who can do the distribution? Example one, help me out. Sorry, Ellery, I'm gonna give it to someone else. I'll come out, I'll come out. You can distribute the negative. I'll, make a I'll come get it. Quiet raise hand, who's got it? All right, go for it, Caroline. So negative 28i. Plus 56i squared. Perfect. 56i squared. And then now anyone aside from Caroline, what's the final step that I have to do? You guys got this. Come on. And Leo, can you show your camera, please? What is our next step? Mr. Sundell, the homework isn't up on Khan Academy. Okay. But we're gonna have to do it right now. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll wait until we start on the next problem. All right, Ellery, do you wanna do the next step on example one for us real quick? Yeah, so you know that I squared is negative one. So if you just do negative one times 56, so it becomes negative 28i minus 56. Six, perfect. Yep. And I'll annotate that as well. This i squared right here is negative one. Hey, my stylus is working again. All right. And just because I'm not getting a lot of participation, I'm gonna go ahead and do example two and three for you guys. So we already have these written down. Example two, it's gonna work out like this. In fact, I'm gonna probably make it come down here a little bit. I'm gonna make my general rectangle and I'm gonna do five minus six i on the top and I have seven plus eight i on the left. I'm gonna multiply straight through here. So I'll wait for you guys to catch up. Yeah. 
And again, it doesn't matter which one goes on the top, which one goes on the left, you'll get the same answer regardless. Does anyone want to try to fill in any of these boxes for me? No, okay, I'm gonna go through them myself then. So five times seven is 35 for the top left. Top right, negative six i times seven is negative 42 i. Bottom left, five times eight is 40. Don't forget the i. Bottom right, negative six times positive eight is negative 48. And I still have two i, so i squared. But I have to be careful about the i squared because I can go ahead and change that right now. This i squared is equal to negative one. So I really, in this bottom right hand side, negative one times negative 48 is a positive 48. So I can kind of get rid of all of this and turn it into a positive 48. And then if you do it this way, the box diagonals should add up. They should be the like terms. So 48 and 35 add up, and then 40 and negative 42, those both have i's in them, um, are gonna go ahead and be added. So let's do the 48 and 35 first. Forty-eight and thirty-five. That's going to be what is that? Eighty-three, I think. So we have eighty-three, and then forty i minus forty-two i is negative two i. Questions on example two before we move on to example three. All right, so I want everyone to do example three on their own. I'm gonna go ahead and silently do the work in about a minute so you can check your work against mine. Uh, try not to look at your screen until you do this problem on your own. So everyone right now, you're doing example three, the two minus five i times the quantity of four minus three i. Uh, good luck. Um, again, once you finish this, make sure you have your summary done and then go and work on Khan Academy.